Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I'm going to just try on um, some new products. A few weeks ago, maybe a week ago, um, I did a video on some uh, products that I picked up, which were tons. So I figured we could use some of them today. So that just some, because it was a lot, just some. But anyway, so that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two-ish. So yeah, like, make comments, ring the bell, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, cool. This light may be too bright, but we will absolutely try and figure that out during the editing process. I do have on um, my foundation. And of course, if I forget, girl, everything will be linked below. We are going out tonight. So I figured, girl, let me just bring this closer because I can't see. I figured we could just do the makeup together because I do want to try it out. I do have my Ricky Skinny here right there. You may or may not see it. I'll move over. You may or may not see it. But anyway, in that recent video, I did pick up these Rare Beauty clips, these hair clips. So let me put them on right now. I just blew out my hair. So of course, it's a frizz ball. We are going out. It's a little clammy out, but we will see. Okay, so I'm going to put that back. I have my cousin's son, which is a second cousin. He's here from Italy visiting. Actually, he was in an, he was doing an exchange with his school. So he spent three weeks in California and he just got here last night. So we're super excited. So of course, off to the city we go. You know, everybody wants to go to New York. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. These are the Maybelline um, shadow blocks. I wanted to try these two. I, these are the only two I picked up, but I wanted to incorporate this green. I'm going to just go a la natural per usual. I'm going to go neutral and natural um, tonight, but I really wanted to throw in like this green, just probably at the edges. I'm thinking about it. And of course I grabbed this one as well. This is the eyeshadow duo. This is the Milani. I really like this shimmer because I didn't even open up these. I don't even know what the heck is in there. That's my plan stand. But anyway, I do have on my foundation. Okay, cool. Let's open these little lovers up. I'm so super excited. Okay, these are friggin' tiny as hell. Not what I expected. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm wondering what, how much I spent on these bad boys. There's, I'm thinking like, um, I'm thinking like a block, you know? Let me show you what the hell. Let me, sh look how friggin' tiny they are. Look how tiny that is. Okay, so that is that. But this is pretty. This one's nice. This is a nice color, right? And then the darkest color is this. Okay, so we'll see about that. And then I guess let me open up this one. This is shadow 50. I don't friggin' know. So let me just, I'm just snipping these right over here. Okay, is this the same freaking color though? Okay, these almost look identical, except this one over here is a smidgen pink. But girl, mm-hmm. And, but this is pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Could you see that? It's almost like a dual chrome. I could be mistaken. And then this is the green. So we're definitely going to do that. And of course, uh, we're going to try this out. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to use this. This one's in BFF. This is the Milani Eyeshadow Duo in BFF. I think I'm going to use this color as my transition. Try this right here as the transition. So let's go in with that. Let me swatch them. Ooh, they are very buttery. Wow. And I'm staring at this. That's really pretty. Okay, this is really, really pretty. Look at that, how nice that is. Can you see that? Ooh, that's super pretty. All right, so I'm definitely going to go in with that color, unless there's something. What about this one? No, that's a shimmer. Okay. Um, I hope these perform well because the colors, I'm not really so sure. So I'm going to go in with, oh, they are super de duper powdery. If you could see that. I mean, I really don't care, but some people do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just grab my um, Charlotte Tilbury because I did not bring a hand mirror. So I'm going to just, okay, this is very, very pretty. Okay, Milani. That's beautiful. Wow. I like it. Now, what can I go in? And then I'm going to go in with this color over here. 
in the Maybelline, these little block. Okay. Mm, they are buttery though. Let's see. I mean, they're a little patchy. You see like the chunks that are on my hand? That's kind of weird. But we're going to try it. I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the 502 because I'm just going to darken up um, the outer edge. I'm not getting that much pigment out of these. It's cute though. It's cute. So let me just show you the three that I have here. I'm going to definitely darken those edges up with the green. But let me just think here. So this, this is beautiful. So the first one is from Milani. Oh, that's so pretty. This one is from the Maybelline. That's pretty too, though. Okay, that's nice. And this one's interesting. This one is from the green palette. Okay, so that is wow. Okay, the shimmers in all three are really, really pretty. The question is, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go with the silver. Let's just try it out. We could always go over it. I like it. Okay. That's really pretty. That's really pretty, 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 pretty. Take this lightest shade in this Maybelline at number 10, just to go um, right under my brow. You know I don't like any shimmer underneath my brow. But I do like a nice light shadow under the brow. They feel kind of patchy. I mean, it looks like, like chunks are coming off. I hope I don't ruin the look, but I'm going to go in with that green. Let me swatch it for you. Okay, it is pretty. I mean, the colors are really pretty. It's just that this color in particular, this one right here in the number 10, was kind of like crumbly. That's weird. All right, so I'm going to just dip into the green and let's pray I don't ruin this look. It's okay. Not thrilled. Not thrilled. This, however, is absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I just put on my concealer. You know, my usual girl, my tried and true, the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix. I absolutely love it. I do want to try this little powder puff. So I do have the Rare Beauty setting powder, and I'm going to do just like that Rose and Ben. I really love her. I'm going to swirl this. Right? She said swirl it. She said tap it off tap it off and then just press okay that looks pretty stinking good well you will see we will see okay let's go back in not really happy with these colors so I'm gonna go back in um, with this Maybelline, this is the number 10, the darkest one in number 10. I'm going to just go under my eyes. And that's pretty, I guess. And I do want to, to put a little bit of shimmer. So I think I'm going to go back in um, with the Milani. This is beautiful. And I'm going to take the shimmer in this one. What Did I tell you the name of this one? This one's BFF. I'm not sure if I told you that. I'm going to go in my inner corner. That's pretty. That's really pretty though, isn't it? Really, really nice. And then I think I'm going to go in with, there's nothing else here, huh? You know what? I'm just going to go in with my bronzer. Let me just grab a brush and I'm going to just go in with, I have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer here. And I'm going to just smoke this little lover out. Okay, I think that's really pretty. Mm, not sure I'm a fan of these, but the the um, the shimmers are really really pretty though. This, however, this Milani, girl, this is fantastic. All right, so nothing new with the face. I'm gonna just um, 
I'm gonna just use the Rare Beauty as my bronzing. No, I take that back. Yes. You know why? Because, hold on. She's like back and forth. I do have this uh, Laura Geller. This is the Baked Blush and Bronze. So maybe I'll try this instead of um, the Charlotte Tilbury. Let, let, let's see, but we'll see. In the meantime, let me just bronze up um, with the Rare Beauty. Okay, now let's get into one of the newer products. This is the Laura Geller Baked um, Blush and Bronze Marbleized 2-in-1, and I do have it in rose bronze. When I, you should see, I, I'm going to link that video below, but every time I opened it, because I didn't swatch any of it, I was like, I want to touch it. It is so beautiful. Isn't that so gorgeous? I'm going to swatch it now. So I'm just going to go around. Ooh. So that's what it looks like. Yep, burrs right on the finger. Oh, that is so pretty. Isn't that so nice? Oh, really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to take this brush blush, even though it's got color on it. I did clean it up. Oh, I'm scared. So let me just, um, actually, I'm going to, you know what? I'm scared. That's pretty. All right, calm down. That is really pretty. This is more of a blush. You know what I mean? That's freaking beautiful. So I don't think like I could set like my cream bronzer with it. So I'm going to just go in real quick um, with the Charlotte Tilbury. And let's see here. What I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the BK Beauty 2 uh, 107. And lightly, I'm going to go lightly just to set that Rare Beauty um, stick. That's pretty. Okay, cool. So we did that. So let's go back in here because this is really pretty. And I know people don't like that, but you know, it's my stuff. I'm going to just go up, stay up high. I'm going to stay up high, right? And then whatever I have left over, I'm just taking it off on my arm. I'm going to go to the apples of the cheeks. That's pretty. This is super de duper nice. Another thing I forgot, uh, but the, but the, I didn't bring a highlighter. Dang on it. Did I not bring it? I did not. Hold on, please. Okay, my tried and true. I love the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter. This one is in iced. So I'm going to just do a little bit. I love this color. Look, it's so pretty. Isn't that so beautiful? Mmm, that is so nice. Okay, I really like the eyes. I like the way they came out. I'm just not crazy about that Maybelline Block formula. But the color's pretty though. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, now, let me just do the eyebrows real quick. You know I've been loving this e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Something about it, I really, really like it. I don't know if it's like the, the waxiness of the pencil. I love the stiffness of the um, spoolie. Okay, pretty damn good. I love this product. I really, really do. I don't know. It's special. Uh, let's see. Where the hell did I put the wedge? I'm going to call it here. Now, let's get into this eyeliner. This is the NYX. This is the NYX Epic Wear um, Liner Stick in Black. Now, of course, normally... I, that's my boyfriend. Normally I do wear brown, but since we're going out, I really wanted to try it. Listen, I cannot get away with the Too Faced um, killer, killer liner and the Makeup Forever. Um, let me see this. Okay, this is freaking black as hell. I love it. And I can't end the, um, the Makeup 
forever aqua resist um, pencils love them i'm going to tight line with this and i think i just want to go above which i normally don't but i just think that this color i just think that this look is a little bit too flat if you will it's really nice on the waterline is this like is this like a um epic wear what the hell does that mean does it mean is it waterproof is it this is it that i don't even know i have to look it up nice i'm gonna just i gotta get close girl i got to Okay, that's nice. I'm going to take um, my little brush a Rooney here from uh, BK Beauty. I'm going to just smudge it out a little bit. Nice. I like it. Oh, that's really pretty. Normally, I never go... I'm not going to use this in my waterline, but I want to go right on my lashes. And I'm, again, I'm going to smear it in with that brush. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this uh, brush from BK Beauty. I just want to thin, thin this little wing out. P.S. I can't do a wing to save my life. So far, so good. Let me just curl. Uh, I'm gonna just get, step off camera, curl my eyelashes, throw on my delicious Maybelline lash sensational mascara and yeah and then we'll be back and we'll do the lips together i'll be right back okay so that is that actually i'm going to put change that highlighter um in my inner corner i'm going to use the jacqueline cosmetics because i think I, I like it a little bit more bright that was a little bit too like on a bronzier side this is more like iced this is obviously what it says this is more yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, I may have gone overboard, but you know, it's okay. Okay, great. That looks so, so nice. I am so happy. Not so thrilled, I gotta tell you the truth, um, with these right over here. Mm, the shimmers are okay, but I'm not so crazy about the formula, but this, man, I cannot wait to dive into um, the other colors. So I think I'm good to go. Let me just spray my face. I'm gonna just spray um, with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush flawless setting spray actually you know what i want to spray it on my um sponge because every time i do that with my mascara on it bleeds so i'm going to just put this on i feel like i'm all over the place in this video but it's okay let me see here i just have to bring this closer Okay, I think it looks super pretty. And last but not least, I really want to try this Elevate Beauty uh, Matte Lip Edit Liquid Lip from um, Amanda Ensing. This is her new um, brand. It's so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, you know I don't like liquid lips, but this color is so beautiful. You know, I always try to look for like the lip. Oh, this is not dry. You know, every liquid lip claims that, but you know, girl. So I'm really very anxious to try this she does say that even though it's light like this it dries darker i don't want to use a lip liner or anything like that i just want to see how it looks in its natural form i'm so excited so let's just try it out and you know you know i'm gonna throw gloss over it you know that girl i'm a glossy girl i'm gonna throw a gloss over Ooh, this is very light feeling like it's very light feeling I may have to put a liner after. Okay. That's beautiful. It is so light on the lips. Like it feels like absolutely nothing. Okay. That's beautiful. I want to let it dry. Let's let it dry. And then we'll see how it looks and then we'll see how it feels um, once this dries down. Okay, so this is how it looks like dried down. It is beautiful. beautiful. Hold up. But I do want to put a lip liner on just to see what, how it looks with it on as well. That's beautiful. It is comfortable. I mean, it is a liquid lip. But it's comfortable so far. So far, it's really comfortable. I'm going to just put on um, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. 
Okay, this is almost the same exact color. So let me switch it out. Okay, so I, I did grab the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Cream, which I love. This is the MP3 Julia, which is a darker, um, like, pinky nude. Mm-hmm. You got to shave your mustache, girl. That's all I'm saying. Wow, that's really pretty. That is very, very pretty. Let me just smear that in. That's gorgeous. Okay. I really love this. I really, really love this. It's completely dried down now. Look, I have 5,000 meters here. It doesn't feel dry. I mean, it feels like a liquid lip because I'm used to glosses, girl. But it's not uncomfortable. That's beautiful. Okay. I love it. I really, really love it. Really, really enjoy this. This is very beautiful. I want to play with it a little bit more. Super, super nice. This is beautiful. This little lover right over here. This little itty bitty, how many ounces? A 0 0.02 ounce of fabulousness. This is so, so great. This is so beautiful. This is so, so beautiful. Congratulations, Amanda. It's gorgeous. You know, girl, they're clips. These are clips. Um, these, uh, you know, girl, don't run out and buy them. They're okay. They're okay. I mean, the shimmers are super pretty. I really like the shimmers. Um, are they fantabulous? Not really. They're okay. I wouldn't go out and buy them. I mean, the powder puff is cute. You know, I got it on Amazon. It's cute. I like it. Very nice. And let's see, anything else? Did we open up anything new for this for, for this video? No, I think that's it. You know, there's going to be part one, part two, part, um, I have no idea because I, I picked up so much stuff and I really, really want to use it with you guys. And um, so, yeah, so this is it. What do you guys think? Please leave me some comments below. And uh, yep, that's it, guys. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.